morning, my little friends. I'm Cameron. Today is Monday, October 28th, 2019. I'm Aaliyah. October is flying by so quickly. Hope you are making it every day a great day. Please rise to join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lunch for today is fish sandwich, broccoli, oranges, and your choice of milk. On Tuesday, garden salad. On Wednesday, hamburger. On Thursday, chicken sandwich. On Friday, pizza. Yum. Yum. <laughs> Let's do a quick check of the weather with Fallon and sports with Nathan. After that, Deanna will be sharing a fun fact with all, all of us. Over to you, Fallon, Nathan. Thanks, Acres. Today, there is a 40% chance of scattered showers. Temperatures will be in the high 50s. The rest of the week, we will see temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Some chances of rain showers early in the week. Keep your fingers crossed for a dry Halloween. Let's hear about the sports news with Nathan. Thanks, Fallon. On Wednesday this week, you can watch the Ranger football team take on North Ridgeville at home. Games start at 4.30 and 7. Cross country is the state tournament this weekend. The girls basketball team has a scrimmage on Sunday this weekend at noon. Good luck to all Rangers playing this week. Over to you, Deanna. We hope you were able to come to the Fall Fest last week. It was such an incredible night. Thank you to all the parents and teachers and students that made the Family Fall Fest event possible. Have you ever heard of, the, of Kane's Arcade? A boy in LA made a whole arcade out of cardboard. It is so awesome. You should search Kane's Arcade on YouTube. Our fourth and fifth graders took on the challenge to create cardboard games for you to play at the Fall Fest last Friday. Thank you, 4th and 5th graders. We hope to share some pictures with you next week. How will riddle for you. What do you call a ghost with a broken leg? A hobbling goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys so cringy? Have a great day, Roosevelt friends. Remember, today and every day, be the best version of yourself. Let's see what Mrs. Aver and Mrs. Schaefer have to say in this week's attendance pep talk. Good morning, this is Mrs. Schaefer here and Mrs. Aver coming to you live from Roosevelt Elementary for this week's Attendance Pep Talk. Today, we are focusing on what it looks like when you arrive to school on time and ready to learn. Mrs. Aver, I would like to hear from you what you have observed here at Roosevelt Elementary about students who are here on time and ready to learn. You mind taking it away? You got it, Mrs. Schaefer. Well, being new here, I went on a special quest to really get an idea of what it looks like to get here on time every day. And I gotta tell you, the most amazing things are happening. Let's start with breakfast. Breakfast is a great time here at Roosevelt. Yes, it is. I heard a rumor. What's the rumor you heard? It has something to do with milk. We may be getting some strawberry milk one of these days. Very exciting. Thank you. Well, let's look at what breakfast looks like in the morning. As you can see here, students come in the building as early as 8.30 to come and have the most amazing breakfast with their friends each and every day. That could be you. And you, Mrs. Schaefer. I would love to talk to my friends for 15 minutes at breakfast since I can't do it once class time starts. But you know what? It gets better. If you've already eaten breakfast at home, you also have the option to come into our gym in the morning. And there you can sit in lines by your grade level and get a chance to chat with your friends as well. Gym opens at 8.30 too. 8.30 gym time. So then the bell rings at 8.45. And that's when students will start to go in the front hallway. And when you go in the front hallway, you are greeted by so many teachers and by Mrs. Nagy in the office. Say hi to Mrs. Nagy. And last, the magic really happens in the classroom. When you get to your classroom on time and ready to learn, you get to do anything. Let's check out one of our classrooms just to see what happens. How exciting. So this is Mrs. Worf's classroom. In Mrs. Worf's classroom, students get choice time. They can come in and make any choice in the morning. 
What a great way to start the morning, don't you think? I would agree 100%. What a great way to start your day. Well, and always seeing the teacher in the hallway with a nice greeting, that just makes me so happy. It always is the brightest part of my day. Thank you so much, Mrs. Aber. That was an excellent report on arriving to school on time each day to school, so you don't miss anything. What's next week's attendance pep talk going to be about? Hard to say. Tune in next week for Attendance, attendance pep, pep Talk. Here are some announcements for you at Roseville. We are collecting toilet paper and paper towel rolls in October. Bring them to school and put them in the bin outside of the office. Thank you. The next Battle of the Books meeting is on Wednesday, November 13th. Mrs. Johnson will be delivering your next book very soon. This is your last week to bring your loose change to the library. Thank you for your generosity. Next week, we will have Roosevelt's grand total to share with you. If you are trick-or-treating this week, be safe and have fun. Please please join us in saying the Roosevelt Pledge. Today I will make good choices. I will be safe, respectful, and responsible. I will do nothing but my best. I am a Roosevelt Ranger. The news is in and we are out. Bye.